Okay, this is the first of 13 logical val uh, fallacy videos. Um, and we're going to start with ad hominem to quoque. This is the first of five uh, that I would classify as easy. Um, and this is my opinion. Uh, the next four will be intermediate, and then there'll be four difficult. Okay. First is ad hominem. Ad hominem is Latin for to the man. Ad mean, uh, means to the Homonym is where human comes from, it means the man. Um, and basically this fallacy is illogical because it says that your argument can't be right because of who you are. Which hopefully you see is illogical. Somebody can make a claim regardless of who they are and it can have some truth to it. Uh, to quote is a form of an ad hominem, it means you too, and basically is more narrow. It says that your argument can't possibly be right because you're a hypocrite. You're a specific type of no good. Here's an example. Don't believe Billary's claims about global warming. She's a liar. Now the claim here is that global warming is false and you shouldn't believe it. And the evidence supplied for that is that the person who made the claim that global warming is happening is a liar. Why is this wrong? Even people you consider to be dishonest can make correct claims. What if Billary had said that 2 plus 2 equals 4? Would you not believe that either because she's a liar in your eyes? Even people who you, can, or who you are convinced are dishonest can make truth claims. So really, if you're wanting to disprove global warming, it would be far more reasonable to find some stats to prove that, uh, global warming stats. Trump's tax plan can't possibly work. He has no political or legal experience. I know these names are really, really well disguised. Um, this is a fallacy, right? This tax plan is awful. And you know why it's awful? Because the person who made it has no experience. Wouldn't it make a lot more sense to talk about the plan itself? And by the way, somebody's experience can sometimes indicate their effectiveness, but would you say that it's impossible for someone to be new and come up with really good ideas? In my experience, sometimes the best ideas come from new people because they're, uh, they come with new perspective. They're not immersed in the culture already. They, they come with some added input that can be really valuable. So to say that his plan can't possibly work because he has no experience is fallacious. It would be far more reasonable if you wanted to argue against the tax plan to look at the specifics of the plan and call out the shortcomings. Sure, abortion is dangerous to women's health. This from the person who's on birth control. Kind of a burn, right? But this is a fallacy. This is an example of a two quoque. The claim is, abortion is dangerous to women's health? I don't think so. And the proof being provided for that, or at least what's being insinuated, is that it's not true because the person making the claim is a hypocrite. But of course, that really doesn't matter to the claim. It has nothing to do with it who made it. Uh, it matters that it's true or false. Is abortion dangerous to women's health? And in order to determine that, we've got to figure out some stats. But to say that it's not true because the person who made the claim is on birth control uh, is, uh, is illogical. We can use the same kind of math example here. Sounds like a burn, right? But it makes as much sense, at least in my opinion, as saying 2 plus 2 equals 4. This is from the person who isn't good at math. Uh, just because you think somebody's not good at math doesn't mean that he or she can't make a correct claim, a claim that is truthful about mathematics. Again, this is what we want to analyze. And in the same way, this is what we want to analyze, if this is the claim. Okay. All right, on the next video, we will do bandwagon.